The following video contains subjects that some viewers may find uncomfortable or unsettling. Viewer discretion is advised. Greetings YouTube viewers, my name is Thor Wilkins from the Thorniverse, and welcome to Devil of the Mirror. This game was recommended to me by Sakura Chan, aka Fluffy Flareon herself, because I got her to play Arya's story. She told me, this game, you play as a girl who is lonely and sick. So she conjures up a spell in front of a mirror. Unbeknownst to her, this mirror had an evil entity. We're going to get right into this. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on your notifications so you know whenever I upload or whenever I premiere. I wonder if that's the right version, though. Well, let's find out. Narrator. Yeah, there was a narrator in Arya's story. Have you ever heard of a spell used with a mirror? Bloody Mary? I don't know. A spell that can send you to the mirror world where your wish, maybe, will come true. That's what the spell does. However, there are things that we cherish, things that have been around us for a long time. Some of them might contain a certain power. It could be a soul, magic, or perhaps a devil? No, of course not. And so, from here unfolds the story of a girl who performed the spell. But the mirror used for the spell has reflected the life of a certain somebody that has been killed. I wonder what will happen to that girl. Will it be a blessing for her, or a curse? Well, let's begin then. This spell is simple. The only things you need for this are a big mirror candle. I don't know what that is. That's blanked out. Is that supposed to be like that? Right before midnight in a pitch black room, light the candle and place it in front of the mirror. Oh, okay, she already did it. When midnight comes, something will happen might be able to go to the mirror world where my wish may come true. Rather simple, is it? If I succeed in this spell, I will not be able to return to my original world. That's what is said. If you're successful, you can't come back. People who've succeeded can't pass the spell on to others. I know this is most likely all bogus, but I don't care. Something's happening to the mirror. Oh. Mirror, mirror, my other self in the mirror. She made it. Where? All right, the spell. I wonder if it worked. It did if you woke up. And you are in a place you are not familiar with. Now, is it WASD to move or is it the arrows? It's the arrows. Uh. Oh, whoa. C is item. A stuffed rabbit. Yeah, that looks like her toy. Oh, save file. Okay. Wait. I don't know what those four means. It's so dark. Hold on, that candle. Yeah. I picked up the candle. Okay. You can only hold four items. Whoa. Myself was on the other side. That's cool. What is this? 
Uh, wait. Wait, I messed up. I messed up, didn't I? Uh, d wait. I just went to the red because it looked purdy. Uh. What? Makeup sewing kit and all kinds of stuff. Okay, what is the... Oh, I just saw that. Shift opens up the inventory as well. Okay, the, the candle died. Uh, it's locked. Apparently the following numbers from that previous room are somehow related to... Yeah, I figured. Okay, wait, what were the colors? Like yellow and blue. Okay. Yellow and blue. There's a three yellow, blue five. Three five. Cool. I'm not moving. There's something on the floor. Bones. Yep. You're dead. The hell is that? I have to get out of here. What the? Okay. Once again, I'm not moving her. <laughs> I can't stop coughing. I think I can rest here. You only went through two doors. They could still be around. Mirror, oh mirror, my deeply beloved self. Outside the mirror. So wait, has she been trapped in the mirror? I love to play with my other self reflected in the mirror. So is her real self in the mirror? However, it can't be any ordinary mirror. I will only accept that mirror. So is her real self stuck in the mirror world while her fake self is stuck in the real world? A boy, he looks worried. Who are you? Thank God you're awake. Oh, I'm sorry for startling you. Are you alright? Your face looks like much better when I found you. Thanks. My name is Rose. And you? I'm Shuni. Shuni. Hmm? No, it's nothing. It is something. You probably know him. Where are we? Somewhere inside the mirror. Inside the mirror. I performed that spell with a mirror, and then I found myself here. Are you from this world? No. I'm a stranger here. Just like you. You're lying, dude. There's no way with that long pause. And I don't know anything about this place either. Is that so? Uh, hey, how did you end up here? I came to save somebody important to me. That someone must be somewhere in this world. So I came here to look around. What about you, Rose? Why are you here? I... I'm sure there was a reason why I performed the spell and something I wished for. But I remember neither anymore. So I forgot what I wanted to do. Now I only want to know how to return home. So if you know a way, please tell me. Sorry, I don't know a way back myself. You came here looking for someone important. What is the first rule of doing something. Know your fucking way back! But please, let me join you. What about the one you're searching for? I thought you'd been looking for that person. It's fine. 
I want to find a way back for her sake, after all. Um, I just would feel a little discouraged to go by myself. All right, then, let's find her together. Shuni has joined the party. Okay. What do... My candle's still dead. I don't know any other freaking buttons to open the inven or to do anything else. And there is no run button, by the way. Let's save here. An unadorned gold frame with a pin in the middle. An unadorned silver frame with a pin in the middle. Okay. This door seems to have some kind of mechanism that prevents it from opening. All right, then let's go find whatever we need. Nice kitchen. Nothing. Small vials, some acetone, glue solvent, and andrigisethanol used for embalming. Oh, this is like a mortuary assistant room. How to make a specimen. Fluttering to death. Scale transfer. My favorite book. How did it get here? Something fell? A bookmark? There's something written on it. Eternal beauty. The azure butterfly goes to the silver frame. The crimson butterfly goes to the gold frame. No, go back in. That just shattered. Okay, there's nothing in here. Okay. Wait. Wait, I couldn't move. Oh, there we go. Can I get the butterfly? There we go. All right. Decorate with the azure butterfly. Decorate with the crimson butterfly. And the door opened. I think I heard a sound coming from the door. There we go. A deep pit. I can't even see the bottom. Maybe that mirror could send us back. But I don't think we can get there. Rose? No, it's nothing. I just thought it might help remember why I wanted to come here. I hope it will. Hey, you said you're looking for somebody. What is that person like? Hmm, lonely, I guess. Just like me. I was very happy when we played together. Though, I really wish we could have spent more time with each other. Well then, let's figure out how to get to the mirror. Okay. Looking at everything on the ground, there's D, N, E. That spells end backwards. I can't even interact. I can't interact with any of the letters. So we're going up the right stairs first. Stray lamb. To the right, to the left, to the right again, and lastly down. Right, left, right, down. You will fall, you will sink, you will fail. W Wait, what is this? Wait. I don't think we'll find any clues here. But there might be something useful in that previous room. It's end. The colors. It's too deep to go any further from here. Okay.
Yeah, it spells end backwards. To the right, to the left, to the right again. Eden. E-D-E-N. It spells Eden. Like Garden of Eden. Right, left, right, down. Yeah. E-D-E-N. And then it brings this up. E, D, E, N. And then hit OK. Yep. And it's going to drain the water. Whoa, it worked. Hey, I think there's somebody in front of the mirror. What? Whoa. Neon kitty girl. Huh, so you made it here. Not bad. Hey, is that the person you've been looking for? No, I've never seen her. What are you doing there? What am I doing? I'm breaking it, obviously. Wait, we needed to go home. Go home? Didn't you come here on your own accord? Oh. Now I get it. Shuni, you're the devil that trapped us in the mirror. Devil? Yeah, I've been called that before. <laughs> so what? I'm going to break every single entrance and exit. Shit. <laughs> See ya. That's seven years bad luck. We need to find another way home. Hey. So, that devil you were talking about earlier? Old and treasured objects can hold souls and magical powers. Under normal circumstances, they are supposed to protect their owners. But devils also might possess them. Rose, did you use an old mirror for the spell? The only reason the spell worked was because there was a devil in that mirror. The devil feeds on the soul of the person reflected in the mirror. Rose, I don't know the reason why you came here, but staying for too long in this world with the devil is dangerous. Rose, let's return to our world as soon as possible. Back to our world. But why did I come here? Why did I perform this spell? It's strange that the devil didn't attack us right away. What's the purpose of trapping us in the mirror world then? The devil in the mirror. Myself inside the mirror. Did you say something? No, nothing. You're hiding something. Earlier, she said she was hoping to break all the ways in and out. Which means there should be another exit. Let's find it then before it's broken. Okay, do we go back up here then? Or is this leading to the same... No, oh, it does lead to the same spot. We've lowered the water level. And it's shallow enough that we can wade through it now. Hey, what if... If we get out of here, what would you like to do first? If we could just get out of here, I want the person I love to smile. For me, that's the best. I've wondered, will your beloved friend also get along with me once we finally meet? Huh? Nah, never mind. Yeah, because you're lonely too and you want friends as well. Don't be shy about asking questions like that. Be confident. Hey, what? You want to hear why I performed this spell in the first place? I thought you said you couldn't remember. Oh, so you could call the reason why you came here? Sure, let me hear it. <coughs> oh, I was too weak to play with the other kids. That's why I was always alone. No matter how much I wanted to have friends, I wasn't able to get out of my room much. 
No one knew I was there and I wasn't able to approach them myself. So I played all by myself. The only place I could go without worrying too much about my illness was... A library? Yep. The library. My favorite place. Even though I didn't get to play in the outside world much, even though I couldn't have friends. With books, I could travel to all kinds of different worlds. I want to bring that up. Sakura-chan, if you're watching this, books always lead you to wonderful places. It's the power of your imagination. With books, I could travel to all kinds of different worlds. They may have been mere figments of a vivid imagination. However, for a shut-in like me, they were like small worlds full of wonders. And one time, while I was in that library, you found a tome of magic. There was a spell that could make your wish come true. What if I could be healthy again? What if I could have friends? What if I could be able to live in the amazing world outside instead of being confined to my room for all eternity? That's what I wished for. Or rather, I was hoping, clinging to the hope, and yet this hope became bleaker with each surgery, with each medication taken. No matter how hard I tried, no matter how much I endured, this dream wouldn't come true. I wanted to change, but I couldn't, so I started to hate myself. I hated myself who was powerless and couldn't do anything. That's why I decided to try that spell. I wouldn't blame you. Which is why I'm stuck here with you now. If it's because of that devil you mentioned earlier, I... Please don't say that you hate yourself. You have no idea how I feel. Yeah, I don't. I wasn't in the same situation as you, but it was quite similar. While everyone else seemed to enjoy themselves in a world of light, I was in a world of darkness. I lived in a world devoid of light and hope. Envy was consuming me, and I was overcome with abhorrent feelings. I felt myself left behind, forgotten, dying inside. And now, now everything's fine. Yeah, there was someone who saved me. Thanks to that person, I've realized that a world of warmth, light, and hope exists. So that, that's the person you want to save, Shuni? That's right. But it's very frustrating and sad that no one came to save you, Rose. And so if that is your wish, it has been fulfilled because I'm your friend. Thank you. Yeah, and she smiled. She's going to have friends. All right. We can go across now. Oh, what is that? I think something's out there. Rose, be careful. I gotta turn that down because that hurt my ear. All right, gonna save it here. What am I gonna do? Oh. Do they kill me? Oh. Just don't hit them. Phases of the moon. It's a small hole. I think I could jump over it. Press enter to Z while standing in front of the small hole to jump over it. Okay. Cool. A lost item in this thicket? I picked up a knife. Okay, cool. 
W wait, why did you do that? Almost there. Eek! Rose! <laughs> the typical anime trip and glide and grab uh, cliche. <laughs> Are you okay? Thank you. Come on, let's go. Let me just slide back into your pockets. Oh, these tombstones were not here before. There are more graves, and yet I'm still alone. Did you just say something? No, nothing. Let's go. Yeah. Wow. Rose, can I borrow this knife? I'll cut off the thorns. But back off a bit. It's dangerous. Is this, is, was this the mirror I needed to go into? Come on, let's find a way out. Hold on, one sec. Save. It's broken, probably that girl's doing. Ooh. A slot? Maybe it can make this reversed clock work. Reversed? It looks upside down to me. Yeah, whatever. Let's go. Okay, long corridor. What are these? The narrator. Hello, hello, and welcome to Grand Guignol. Tonight's story is Who Was Killed? There were fairies glittering in the sky, but one day all of them disappeared, and the sky becomes pitch black. Whither? At which time? Wherefore? Well, you need to ask the fairies. I suggest you present the murderer to the pedestal of the murdered fairy. Which one you choose first doesn't matter. It's a three-way deadlock. Rock, paper, scissors. To put it simply, just change their place. If you want to start over, I'll put them back for you. Until you solve the mystery, the door won't open. But there's no need to worry. I won't cause my steam guests any harm. If you manage to bring the puppet show to its conclusion, you'll receive a wonderful gift to commemorate your visit. What? I think I heard something from the door. Okay. So the sun doll goes on the star painting. The moon doll goes on the sun painting. And the star doll goes on the moon painting. Moon painting? Sun doll goes on the star. Moon doll goes on the sun. Star goes on the moon. There we go. I don't know why that took me a while. A box. I picked up a winding key. A clock key from the... I was in the mirror. Rose? I became friends with myself in the mirror. Yuck. Normally you can't converse yourself. You can't converse yourself with your reflection. The mirror I used for the spell was different. Strangely, myself inside the mirror could move and act all on her own. But since I couldn't play with other kids because of my illness, it was a perfect friend for me. I never realized it was all due to the spell. Still, I'm so happy to be with you, Rose. We couldn't have talked to each other like that if you hadn't come here. Back then, you said that no matter how hard you tried, no matter how much you endured, that you hated yourself for your inability to change. Honestly, I'd like you to cherish that feeling. Huh? Even if it's hard right now? Because in the future you can be at someone's side, someone who experiences similar hardship. You can support that someone to offer your strength and warmth. The future? Well, um, that's what I want to believe in myself. This may sound crazy, but after all, you don't want to believe that, that a brighter future awaits us? Believe in the future? I wonder if I'll be left behind in the future. If I'll be forgotten. So much doubt on yourself. Don't worry. 
You won't be forgotten. I'll protect you. What? What? Who's banging on the door? Occupado! What happened? I can't move. I think it's gone. Let's check out what's happened over there. Oh, crap. It's the devil girl again. What is this? Yeah, this place got wrecked. Oh, now this place is all red. Somebody was behind me. Save. Okay. This clock stopped a little before midnight. When I use that spell to enter the mirror, something will happen at midnight, it said. This must be the result. If we move the clock, it might have some kind of effect. We might be able to get the clock running with the winding key. You want me to wind it up? I'll do this. Somebody messed up. Oh, there you are. <laughs> she said it before I did. Or I said it before she... I said it! Why didn't she kill us yet? She needs a substitute to get out of the mirror. She can't leave without a substitute. That's why she didn't kill you yet. A substitute? She wants to replace you. She has been weakened and then sealed in the mirror. But she regained her strength by playing with you. Playing with me? Every game you've played with the mirror was like a little gift of life power for her. But it's not just the devil who has become more powerful, right, Shuni? It's the same for you and me. Because that's how we were born. What do you mean? Sorry. I can't tell you now, but... Wait, Rosa-chan, look out. Um, oh, she pushed me out of the way. Ow! It hurts. I can hear someone talking. Who are you? Oh, this looks nice. Oh. It's her she played with in the mirror. Oh. There's a lot of her. A lot of dolls that look just like me. What is this place? I moved the clock, and then the ceiling and the floor have been reversed. I still can't move. Oh, she's moving. I've been separated from Shuni, and that girl who saved me. Shuni was talking about the devil of this world, and at first I thought it was that girl, but apparently the devil looks exactly like me. Because it was my reflection in the mirror. It was me inside of here, inside of this mirror world. What if that devil pretended to be me to get out of this world and I remain here? Will she become me? Then who will I become? No, don't think about it. I am still me. I need to get out of here quickly. I want to see Shuni and that girl again. Okay, so the cat girl, meow meow, whatever, saved you from being put in that cage and Shuni is somehow involved in this. Hi. Yeah, one fell over. Yes. 
Letters are flowing in the air beside the door. I've been waiting for so long to get out of here at last. Hi. Will you be my friend? I can't... I'm just gonna keep going forward. I've been waiting for so long to get out of here at last. It's just gonna get darker and darker and darker. I pushed down and I still went through. Something like blood is flowing down the wall. Okay. I pushed enter. More letters are flowing by. My dear self outside the mirror. How do you want to die? What kind of last moment do you want? Ooh, there's some that just came up behind me. What kind of last? I just keep going forward, forward, and forward. Ooh, there's a blade in its throat. Only the bird is still moving. Little bird that appears to be alive. Only these flowers are white. It's garnished with red flowers. There's something written on the wall. It's sad to be alone. Let's all be together. It won't open. Okay. Not yet. Okay, only the bird is still moving. There's a blade in its throat. Little bird that appeared to be alive. Only these flowers are white. Why did it make that noise? It's garnished with red flowers. Not yet. Hang on. I can't. Do I pierce it in the throat? Hello? Devoid of warmth, it's slathered crimson with blood. White flowers stained with blood. I created red flowers. Oh. And then I put them here. And the door opens. I think a noise came from the door. Oh. There's something written on the wall. Let's play funeral. Which one of the coffins is empty? The butterfly is the leftmost. The goldfish is three apart from the butterfly. Wait. Your left or my left? Goldfish is three apart from the butterfly. The little bird is three apart from the kitten. The kitten is next to the goldfish. You may open only one. Okay, so that would mean the butterfly is on the far left. The goldfish is the fourth one. The little bird is three apart from the kitten. The kitten is next to the goldfish. The kitten is in the far right. And the little bird is three apart from the kitten. That means the empty one is middle. Empty one is middle, yes. Let's go. I think I heard a sound coming from the door. Let's save it. Man, I love freaking games like this. Freaking puzzle games. I love them. Text by the door has been changed. And now it's time to enter the coffin, my dear self. Okay. Why would I be playing this if I knew I was going to be the one to die? There's a name written on it. Rosalia. It's my name. There's a letter in the coffin. My beloved self from outside the mirror. I want to get out of the mirror. My dear self outside the mirror said she wants to come inside the mirror. So, 
Let's exchange worlds. I know. What my dearest self truly wishes for. A brighter future awaits us. My true wish. Earlier, Shuni had told me about the future. The truth is, there's not much time left in my life. I don't have a future. Which is why... Which is why you turned to me. A devil, right? You remember now? There is no future for you. You are alone. No one will know you've existed. No one will remember you as you sink into a coffin. That's what you were afraid of. You wanted to have a friend. You wanted a future where you stay beautiful forever, didn't you? All of you together in the coffin. That's the Garden of Eden you wished for. I'll make your wish come true. No, that's not what I really wanted. Eh, I couldn't move anyway. But how are you going to get outside the mirror? Bruh. That is the story of a certain girl living in a certain world. This girl has been all alone because of her illness. But one day, that girl received an invitation. An invitation? It was a dark, dark Sunday. The girl was clad in black clothes because she was invited to the funeral. It was the first time she seen a box called Coffin. Makeup had been applied carefully to the deceased as benefits of final departure. Flowers surrounded the coffin decorated with lovely memorabilia. The girl who attended the funeral was fascinated by it. I wish I could also have such a beautiful funeral, she thought. On a certain day, the girl received a wonderful gift. A magnificent antique mirror. And its sender is someone who passed away somewhere recently? She thought it must have belonged to the family of the deceased, accepting it with gratitude. To an unattained, uninitiated eye. To an uninitiated eye, it might have looked very creepy and disturbing. The girl, somehow unable to avert her eyes, has taken a fancy to the mirror. Thus begin her days of playing with the mirror. Mirror, oh mirror, myself inside the mirror, hear me out. Today I picked up a dying black kitten and a stuffed rabbit doll. Why don't we have a beautiful funeral just like the one in the past? That said, surely the kitten would feel sad, left all alone in its coffin. I wish it had a friend it could share the coffin with. One day I'm gonna die too. And when that day comes, who will be with me inside the coffin? It's cold. This place brings back many memories. But I don't want to return here. Not so long ago, every day felt like this for me. Cold, empty of life. I felt like my soul was withering away with every passing moment. Perhaps I've forgotten that I've been forgotten and abandoned. No place I can go to, no place I can call home, no reason to exist, no wish to live. Well, there was someone who would play with me occasionally. Every time they passed away, I felt emptier inside. However, she has put an end to all that. Rose helped me get out of there. So now it's my turn to help her. Is that Shuni? Yes, it is. That is Shuni. This room. Looks like the place where I first met Rose. I am now playing as Shuni. In this room, many people and their possessions gather and go separate ways over and over. A long time ago, someone left a stuffed rabbit behind and there was even the slightest sign of anybody coming back for it. I figured it would be good to have it around 
to keep aboard child some company, so it remained here for a very long time. However, just recently it vanished. I suspect some visitor came to took it on a whim. Similarly, there are also other objects here which by different turns of events seem to be fated to remain in this place. However, sometimes in incredibly, incredibly ominous. Uh, return and go back and uh, return the mirror. Where did you hide that mirror leading outside? Where did you hide it? Is that devil also searching for the mirror to get out of here? Yeah, searching for the... Yeah, but that mirror was... Back then, that girl was trying to save Rose. Yeah, she was trying to save us. If the demon is also looking for a way out, that means the demon cannot exchange places with Rose. Not yet. That girl wasn't trying to lock us in. She's broken the mirror to prevent the devil from getting outside. It was all to keep her trapped inside the mirror. Only reason we haven't been killed yet is because if Rose dies before the devil can get out of the mirror, it won't be able to replace her. After all, the devil won't be able to find out where the true mirror is hidden. But why didn't she let a, me use that mirror when we first met? There might be something else to it. That other girl was trapped with me just a moment ago. She's probably somewhere nearby. Hi. Have a seat. And so am I. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stop this right here. This is getting interesting. However, it's hitting a little close to home for me. There are a couple of times where I tried not to just... I just wanted to stop at times because it reminded me of me when I was younger. Not a lot of friends. Nobody ever paid attention to me. Nobody ever noticed me. Nobody really cared. No matter what kind of things I've done to accomplish, nobody seemed to care. But if you uh, kind of look at this, that looks creepy. This is the real Rose. That one is the fake one. Anywho, this has been Devil of the Mirror. I will try to get back to this as soon as I can because it's intriguing. I want to play more of it. This is Thor Wilkins from the Thorniverse. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on your notifications so you know wherever I upload or whenever I premiere. And I hope to see all of you, and you'll see me in the next video. Take care.